Hey guys, in this short tutorial I would like to show you how you can squeeze our animals library. We will talk about different poses, how you can create custom poses and we will talk a little bit about the rig, because this rig is a little bit different, maybe a little bit more complex, but thanks to that you can create much more poses, you can play with the face, uh, with legs, with uh, hands, with the torso and so on. But if you are new in a blender, make sure that you take a look on our frequently asked questions for you, for those who are new in a blender, we are getting from how to navigate in blender, how to change color, how to change the poles or how to put multiple objects into one scene in a blender. Thanks to that you can combine our different libraries, you can put animals with the characters, icons, animals with pets and so on. So this is super helpful. Also you can combine multiple animals into one scene. So go and check it out. So the next step is to take a look on different poses. So here we have animation and every frame is different pose. Also if you go here and you find poses, you can use search poses, you can have, you can see different poses from zero to five. So we have six poses. If I click on a rig, I'm going to pose mode and to be sure to see the colors, I need to be in the viewport shading. Here I click on some of the bone. Now I click A and all the bones are selected and I can change the pose. So let's try for example, the second one. Cool. But now what is super important to mention is that if I change the frame or if I click the render here in the render render image, this pose will not be rendered. The reason is because as you can see again, we have on the first frame, we have a different pose. We have the keyframe here. And if you want to change the pose, you need to select auto keying. And now if you change the pose here, it will record the change and you will get different pose. So this is how you can uh, play with the poses. And now let's take a look how you can change pose. It's super simple. Again, I'm in a pose mode, click somewhere in the, in the viewport and now click on the, on the rig on some bone. And now I'm just basically with the G, I am moving with it. Again, the same thing, right? So let's put it down. If I go with the arrows to the left, I'm back to the first, frame again this is on the same place so what I need I need to turn on auto keying now I will change the pose I will rotate All right so this is it and now if I go with the arrows to the left and to the right it's recorded so this is how I can create a custom pose and this is super important to have auto king enabled. The next thing is to talk a little bit about uh, how to play with the rigs because it's pretty complex right now but it doesn't have to be. Right now the all selectors are enabled. If you select the rig, select all bones, on the right in the item you see all of different actions here. What is important is, I clicked somewhere in the viewport, is that you have I key and F key. I key is inverse kinematics. It's basically right now, if I move this bone, basically the bones here are changed by this last bone. It means that it's working in the inverse mode. So I'm moving the last bone and the bones uh, before this bone are moving also. If you want to move uh, the bone separately, you can use you need to go to I key. Um, you see the I key F key. This is a forward kinematics, and now I'm I'm moving uh, I'm moving each bone separately. Both of them have different uh, use cases. They are helpful, but for us, for example, for the UI. Uh, pick which one you like more and to create your your own pose. What is also important is if you don't want to see all of these bones and the selectors, you just need to here, you can basically hide them. 
and only work with the things you, you care about. So for example, I want to have inverse kinematics. Now it's not working, so I'm going back to Ike. Now it's working, right? So now I can move the hands. And if you want to change the leg, I need to go also the I key. Whoop. And now this is how it is working. Okay, so what is also pretty fun to do is you can change, you can swap, let's say, Let's say I'm moving this I key here. If I click I key to F key, I'm getting I key to uh, F key rig. But if I click F key to I key, basically I will move this F key to I key. So it will match. So this is how you can play with both of them. It's pretty handy, it's pretty fun to do and you can play also with a face, you can do any face you want to and also any pose you want to. Also for example here is the, I can move also with the shoulder or you can tweak some elbow. Right so now I'm moving the elbow up and down and this is also this is fun because you can move the ear, you can move the head you can move the, the chin, you can move also the tongue and here if I have the face and face primary you can move also the here are the bones for the tongue also here is the is the teeth so you can move the teeth you can also delete if you don't want to them or with the nose for example you can make it bigger or smaller if you want so this is how you can play with that it's pretty fun because right now I'm all the things what I was playing with I recorded so now I basically created a new pose and if I click render, I will render this pose. So this is it. If you want to go play a little bit more with the rig, uh, it was used Rigify. You can find some tuto any tutorial on Rigify. You can play with all the settings and you can go deeper if you want. But, you know, you don't have to. The last thing that I wanted to mention is that Duck has custom rig. And you see the bones. You can select the bones and you can move with them this is how it is working uh, it's a little bit different than panda has but working similarly there is no f key and i key here if i go uh, to the dock also dock has some custom rig where you basically have this uh, f key only so there is no i key i key inverse kinematics f key forward kinematics but if we look on the, on the wild cat, we can see that the rig is the same as we have in a panda. So that's it from my side. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you have any question, please reach out to me at Samuel at 3D.design. If you want to learn more about the library, go to animals.design. And if you want to learn more about our other 3D libraries, go to 3D.design dot design have a great day bye